Demon Slayer is back. My name is Nonstop Antonio, and today we're going to be watching and reacting to episode one of the new season. And this is the first hour long episode titled To Defeat Muzan Kibutsuji. I'm really excited to see what happens, especially after the Swordsmith Village arc and all the epicness that went during that. I know this is supposed to be like a mini arc, you know, we got the Hashira training, and I can't wait to see what they have in store for us, especially with the title of this first episode. I did videos for the Swordsmith Village arc and the previous season, so I'll leave those in the descriptions down below to check those out. But with that, let's jump into my reaction and then review breakdown of the first episode of the brand new season of Demon Slayer. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the Hashira we're already fighting. Cool. Dude, snake form? I've been waiting for him to fight this entire time. It's been seasons I've been wondering what we're gonna see him. Now we finally actually get to see him doing stuff. That's great. God damn, you know the Hashira is strong when they're just blowing through regular demons like no tomorrow. Whoa. Okay, that was new. Those are new. I've not seen those before. A serpent breathing. Ooh. So those things actually look like like real demons. Oh! Damn. Oh, cool. Damn, okay. Already starting off with a bang, let's go. Oh shit, they're jumping right into the infinity castle. That doesn't that doesn't, this this doesn't look good. Okay, okay, so they didn't get sucked into it. They get escaped though. I was fully expecting them to get trapped in there, but I'm kind of glad they didn't. Not only that, we got Nezuko. I like how they say that, but, you know, I feel like Nezuko is strong enough on her own to also fight back. The Hashira training arc begins! Okay. So I guess the whole idea is the Hashira might be going after Muzan to try to stop him before he can go after Nezuko, but this is not gonna end well. Ah, okay, they're moving the village, that's why. That makes sense. Yeah, they sure were unbelievable opponents. Those demons were freaking insane. Ah, okay. Interesting. So they have ones already built in to kind of run into way too if they need to. <laughs> That's a big deal, right? Yeah, of course it's a big deal, dude. It's a demon walking in the sun. <laughs> I like how we've now started off like the last few seasons just with Tanjo recovering. I think it's the first time we've seen the Hashira's meet since... Bat way back in season one. Okay, we got some more Giyomi, who we haven't seen in a while. Sanami, who, you know, we got to see his brother last season. Of course, Mitsuri. And Muichiro. Obanai. I'm still very interested by the snake. Like, we see him in, like, the shots where he's fighting, but is it the snake fighting or is it just sword? Because we always know with when they're fighting, it, we, we, see, we see the cool look, but that's not actually what's happening. Shinobu. And Giyu. Uh-oh. Oh. 
Feels like something bad's about to happen. It definitely feels like the master is gonna die soon. Just, just very slowly. Like he, he's not gonna, it's not gonna last much longer. Sounds about right. And all that war is approaching. お二人に独特な文様のあざが発言したという報告が上がっておりますお二人にはあざの発言の条件をご教示願いたく存じますおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
oblivious to. Hey, we haven't seen Zenitsu in a while. He's back. Oh, we get to see him react to Nezuko. Oh. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Come on. It's been so long. It's been an entire season. Of course, Zenitsu. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> oh, there's Zenitsu's little freak out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yo, he's just gonna have a heart attack at this rate. <laughs> Okay, they need to calm down. <laughs> oh god, it's just the love crazed anime character. Always. <laughs> it's Kamenosuke. <laughs> oh, are we actually gonna see Inosuke too? Hey! It's our favorite crazy swordsman. Sword maker. Swordsmith. Oh, it's time for the brand new sword. That is an awesome sword that I also own. I bought this sword at Fan Expo Vancouver. It's sitting over there. Actually, give me, let me let me let me let me grab it real quick. We'll be like Tondro real quick. Look at that! We can go slice demons now together. I just want to hold this the rest of the the video now. Maybe. Let's go. <laughs> we all get to look at the blade together. <laughs> Destroyer of demons. It's pretty sick. <laughs> oh, never change. He's gonna kill Tanjiro again for disrespecting him. <laughs> he was on his mild manner. <laughs> hey, Genya! I like he's just laying there this whole time. Oh, there we go! There's an Osuke! <laughs> no, Genya, you're part of the group now. You get to hang out with everyone. I'm surprised he didn't kind of have the talk about why Gyu left. Like, he just left and now the six of them are meeting rather than the seven of them. Okay, so after the Swordsmith Village arc, a bunch of sightings of demons dropped a bit, so now the perfect time to train. I feel like it's the perfect setup to get them out of the way so that the demons can just spring back up while they're busy. But that's just my opinion. Asking a retired one to come help, we know who that's gonna be. Okay, well, we're gonna get this explanation. Why do you leave? What do you mean? Right about what? <laughs> I feel like Zenitsu is a lot more crazy than he was in the previous seasons. Maybe he just snapped finally after all the shit he's gone through. Yeah, yeah, 
ありがとう雷の呼吸のコツを使って鬼の首が切れたんだ Using that thunder breathing to help Tanjiro being able to adapt some of the other ones for his own. Pretty freaking cool. I love that we get to learn more and more about their fighting styles. His brighter future is Nezuko, I'm calling it right now. Never mind, he's just in a good mood. I was fully expecting him to see Nezuko in that brighter future. Ah, oh, there we go. The Hashira who lost an eye and an arm. Tengen is back. <laughs> Dude, these guys are going to get their asses beat by the former Hashira while they're training. Hey, we can see the wives as well. They're just absolutely running them into the ground. How many hot shirts are you going to be able to train? I feel like only our main characters are going to become strong enough. All the side ones are just going to get axed. We got movement training, flexibility training. I mean, the flexibility one makes sense because of how Mitsuri moves. Rework their sword skills. Okay, so serpent's going to be sword skills. That's interesting. Infinite slashing. What does that mean? Just the amount of times you can slash, I guess? Muscle amplification training. Damn, okay. <laughs> yeah, your, your temperature is not going to go up. You got to fight the actual demons, dude. Okay, is it going to be like a weird ball? Do I do really want to see more of Obanai fight? Because, like, he's kind of cool. I like the snake. You know, the snake looks pretty sick on him. I like how they're just showing, like, the fodder demon slayers. The ones that always just get absolutely wrecked by every demon we see. And they're getting wrecked by the training as well. Like, and they all look the same. They all have the same outfit, the same kind of haircut. And they all look similar. Rather than getting our uh, standout characters like Zenitsu, Inosuke, Genya, Tanjiro. We still have to get them to train. <laughs> I take one sip of water and he gets hit in the face. Oh my god. Ooh, the letter from the master. Ooh, Tatandra? What could it be? <gasps> yeah, we knew that part. But why? Why do I feel like he's gonna die right now? I said at the beginning of the episode, but I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> oh, he's 100% gonna die before the end of this arc. 100%. I, I wonder if the mysterious illness will be revealed too. I was gonna say, are we gonna see who it is? Wait a second. Ooh, state of progress. I can, that looks like uh, his arms. She's studying them. We're gonna see a little cat show up. Miss Tamayo, it's been a while since we've seen you. You know what they haven't explained yet? The crows being able to talk. They haven't explained that yet. They're gonna send Shinobu over to help. They're gonna try to feed Muzan. Okay. Summoning her a demon to the Demon Slayer headquarters. Shit, I mean, hey, she helped Tandro. tandro has been helping her, and they've already been starting to come up with a plan to figure out how to turn Nezuko back into a human. So she's, of course, someone you should be pulling into your fight. That's awesome. It's been a while since we've seen her, too. Look, I just can't. It's going to be fun watching these guys train. I think that's, that, you know, that's one of the things that I think is going to be a lot of fun, is watching them train and probably seeing some new threat arise from this.
because we do have Muzan wanting to come after Nezuko because she has conquered the sun. Like, I've heard this arc is not like, you know, the like, it's not amazing. It's not amazing compared to other ones, but I think it's going to be a fun short arc before we do get into the final epic saga. And I'm really excited just to have more Demon Slayer in my life. I love Demon Slayer. It's the first anime I watched and really got into anime and I can't wait to watch more. So if you like this reaction, make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my Demon Slayer reactions as we watch the Hashira training arc. And with that, we're going to be jumping into the review breakdown of this video. After watching that episode, I really wonder how some people saw that in the theaters. Like I can see some of the parts, especially the beginning, looking really awesome in the movie theater. But like there's not a lot to the episode. It's pretty much just a lot of setup for what's to come from this arc which I do really enjoy. And I really like what they set up. All the moments we got to have just to catch up with the characters we haven't seen in a while. Just a lot of good moments overall. I did like how the episode started off with Sanami and Obanai fighting those demons. Like showing some real demon foot soldiers that are just, they look like they're clones and masses. Like those look like pure demons who you wouldn't want to mess with, but they also look like the fodder. The ones they just send out to get slaughtered because they know they won't survive. But it was pretty awesome seeing Sanami and Obanai fight, especially because we haven't seen it before. Watching the serpent breathing and the wind breathing. Great moments overall just for that start. And I do really like how in the episode we just kind of kept going back and forth between the Hashira and Tanjiro just seeing Tanjiro recover trying to get better kind of going over what happened in the swordsmith village and then having the Hashira planning for what the hell is to come after Nezuko can now walk in the sun and there's it feels like a lot has to happen this season with the other demon slayers learning how to become Hashiras and being just as strong as them or at least getting up to a certain level so that they're able to fight some of these stronger demons mostly the regular demon slayer core we normally see that aren't the ones that look outlandish like Inosuke, Zenitsu, Genya, and Tanjiro those are the ones that can already fight the upper rank demons because they already did it and accomplished it but they just need to become stronger so that they have less of a chance of dying when they're fighting the even stronger ones later down the road and it's cool to see that Tanjiro is the one that made the demon slayer mark come out with other people and the fact that they kind of have to figure out how to get the other Hashira's marks unlocked which just makes it so that they have to have their body temperature rise and their heartbeat race which I feel like is not something you can do just from training alone it's definitely something that comes out during life or death situations where you need to save your life or save someone else's yeah, that is always when Tanjiro's comes out he's in the middle of a final battle trying to risk his life to save Nezuko or save himself and he's able to bring it out save those people before they die and then you have Mitsuri and Muichiro who also unlocked theirs while trying to save people Mitsuri unlocked hers while saving Tanjiro and them while Muichiro was saving Kotetsu so just like these moments of life or death is when they were unlocking it so yeah definitely the heart rate and the body temperature counts but I feel like there's a little bit more elements that you can't just unlock by training now it was great to see the return of Inosuke Zenitsu and Tengen all over again just having Tengen now helping the training having Zenitsu and Inosuke come in as loud as ever Inosuke just comes smashing through a window while Zenitsu gets to see Nezuko walking and breathing in the sun it went on a little too long his freak out but I did love his initial freak out when it started I was waiting to see what was going to happen with that because of how Zenitsu is is with Nezuko and how he loves her. With everything that happened during this episode too, they definitely set up what's to come and some questions that were raised. I've been questioning from like the very beginning, what is going on with Ubu Yashiki, but, but don't put spoilers in the comments, of course, but I do like how we're kind of leading more into this. I feel like he's probably going to die by the end of this arc because of how bedridden he is, but he did request help from Tamayo. Yeah, and it's cool because she's been helping Tanjiro and Nezuko trying to find a cure for Nezuko this entire time. And she's been looking on how to treat them while you have Shinobu, who's also been experimenting with different poisons and stuff that can affect demons so having both of them work together is a good plan to have them go against Muzan because now they'll have another kind of set of arsenal to go against them fighting and attacking and more of that little chemical sign something that could hurt them on a different level so I'm excited to see these characters work together seeing some of the other Hashiras in action are going to be pretty sick as well we still haven't seen Gyomi in action yet but we've seen everyone else so far so it's going to be cool to see him kind of step up and see what kind of moves he can do and I'm excited for what's to come from Demon Slayer let me know what you thought of the first episode in the Hashira training arc and make sure you stay tuned for the rest of my anime reaction while we watch Demon Slayer. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next week when we watch the next episode.